Yes, in this video, we are going to see about the JK flip-flop, another famous flip-flop. Here, uh, the JK flip-flop, uh, whatever, it has two inputs, J and K. Just like how we have in our flip-flop, we have R and S. Here, we have J and K input, and those, uh, the, the, the input, or one in, or it has two AND gates, like this, where the uh, first gate is having a J input and second gate is having K input. Okay, the output of this AND gate is given for a, as an input for the SR flip flop, right? And the clock signal is given like this. Now, what happened? We'll uh, discuss about this uh, by seeing the circuit diagram. Sorry, uh, time, uh, time, that is this truth table. So, when the clock signal is high, and when both J and K are zero, let us take that condition. That is J is zero and K is also zero. So this is an AND gate. So in an AND gate, if any one of the input is zero, then output will be zero, right? So when this is zero and this is zero, what happens? Both the AND gate disables. So when both the AND gate disables, what happens? Whatever may be the clock pulse, it has no effect. So it reminds the previous state. The output also will not be affected. It remains in the previous state. That means it is memorizing or remembering or storing the previous state. That's what the meaning. Then during the clock pulse, positive clock pulse, when this is zero, let us say here we are giving a zero, right? When this is zero and for this I am giving one. K is zero and K is one. Now what happened? Uh, as we have seen, for an AND gate, if any one of the input is zero, that gate will be disabled. So this is disabled, whereas here one, so whatever may be the previous state, say imagine this is the previous state is one. So that will go and this will be one. Okay, so here R will be one. So it is reset. Here S will have zero and R will have, which is nothing but reset condition, right? Now, imagine you have, uh, Now, uh, consider we have, uh, so this condition we have seen. Next is J is one, here one, and K is zero. So now this gate is disabled and this is enabled and it goes as an input for this, right? So now S is set. So Q will be one and here Q bar will be its complement zero. So this condition is said to be set then. When again, the, when the cloud during the positive edge triggering, when you give both one, imagine for this also you have given one. Okay, here we give one. When both are one, what happens? Uh, see here. When both are one, it is possible to set or reset the flip flop. If Q is set, imagine Q is set. Let us imagine the Q is having one and Q is having. Q bar is having zero. Let us imagine this thing. So some condition we have to check, isn't it? So for that, we'll assume this is having one. That is a previous state, okay? And this is zero. Now, imagine J is one, okay? When J is one, what happened? Because of this zero, as we have assumed that this is zero and this is one. So J is one, this zero goes there. Okay, so now what happened? Zero into one, it is zero. So now zero goes there. Now what happened? This becomes zero. Okay, Q, because whatever is in yes, that is reflected here. So zero. So this uh, one goes here, one into one, and now this is one. So R is having one. So now what happened? As we have seen, this is one. Okay, so R is uh, reset happens. So this is one, and for this, uh, it becomes zero, which means what, what is the previous state? It is one and zero. Now, when you give both one, what happens? It goes to the opposite state. One becomes zero, and zero becomes one. That is, we call it as toggling. Now, assume we have zero and one. Let us see other way also. Now, let us. Uh, assume you have zero and one as the previous state. Now, again, you give one, one, right? Now, what happens? 
this zero comes here, isn't it? And uh, for this, it is one. So this one goes there. Okay, now what? So one into one, it is one. So here it becomes one. And here what happens? Because of this one into zero, zero. So now it becomes zero. So one and zero during the clock pulse. Now this would be pushed. And now it becomes one and zero, which means the previous state is zero. Now it becomes one. Here it is one, it becomes zero. So it is toggling. The state is to be toggling. Now we'll see. Using the logician. Now it will take two and it and then already uh, flip flops are that that you will find it in memory. So now we take the extra flip flop. And this is q one two bar. So This q one two bar is that. Now we will the clock. Connect it to the clock. Then here, put it. Yes. From this output of that one day. Then uh, this. This and for this, then this is the same. Yes. Now, see, uh, this is J. Okay. This is J and this is K, this is Q, and this is Q1. Okay, now we'll check. When both are, uh, that is when the clock pulse is one only, it has effect. When the clock pulse is, uh, it's a negative edge triggering, whatever is there. Okay, say I change it, see here, I'm changing. Nothing is doing, nothing has effect, no effect. So, so during the positive edge ticketing only, any change can take place. Now, I'm changing this. Now, positive edge ticketing, now uh, both are zero. So when both are zero, it remains in the previous state. No change. Again, it is same. Two is zero and two bar is one. Now, I'm giving this uh, one, right? Uh, See, then during the next negative edge triggering, it changes. So here, see what is it stored? One is two. So now the flip flop is storing one. Okay. So how many times I click? It's not uh, because the one now again and again I'm giving one. That is the meaning of this. Then let me change it to negative edge triggering zero. So whatever it is, that's not changed. Now I give one. Even that is also not changing because of this. Negative edge state. Now I give a uh, positive edge state. See, it has changed. Okay, so K is one. Now R is the, it is set to reset the flip flop and then it is storing a zero. See here, it is storing a zero. Now I give both one. We'll see. Now let me change it and then I give one. So during both one and during negative edge degree, no change. Now I give the positive edge degree. See, the previous input our output is. Zero and one. Now it has changed. Now again, I am giving another clock pulse. So during the next positive clock pulse, see it changes. So during the next positive clock pulse, it toggles. This is said to be toggling. When it becomes zero, it becomes one. Then it becomes one and it becomes zero, and so on. This state condition is said to be toggling. 